Hello, Apple has just launched the new iMac and in this video tutorial I will show you how you can create iMac mockups to present your work, web applications and so on. First thing to do is navigate to the same page that I am on. The link will be provided in the description where you can see a selection of pre-made templates that have already been made that you can customize or where you have the option to create your own template. For the sake of the tutorial, I will create a template from scratch, but the easiest thing to do is to customize an existing one. Um, so I click on the button to load up the template and the blank canvas appears. I've already covered the main options of the editor in another video, for example, all of the tabs, what the timeline does, all the main components of the 3D editor. The link will also be provided, so do go check it out to understand how it works in more detail. Uh, in order to add and create an uh, um, uh, iMac mockup, we first need to add a device. So we go to the device tab and click on the iMac icon. We also have the option of adding other devices, as you can see, but since the video is about iMacs, we add the iMac device. Um, it appears on the screen and we can easily drag it around and move it around. Let's make it slightly smaller so that we can see what is going on. The iMac is positioned in the center of the screen and at the bottom we have the device layer which belongs to the iMac and the camera which is what is looking at the um, iMac. And the easiest thing and the fastest way to the mock-up is to upload your own media into the screen as opposed to the default placeholder. And um, I've inputted uh, an gradient image. Instead, you can use your own UI interactions or even videos. In this case, it's a still image, but videos is also, are also supported in the MP4 format. Okay, um, let's go to the camera layer and upon selecting it, we can move the mock-up in 3D space and uh, when we find the angle that we like we can click on the download button and export our mock-up as a PNG. If you want to change the dimensions slightly you go to the menu and change dimensions of um, your mock-up to something that suits your requirements. Okay, uh, I've also made a video on how to make device animations and in this example I will customize it slightly to make it rotate also. Just a simple example of an animation. Um, first things first, I want to add uh, um, well shadowing in order to make it look more 3D and uh, make the mock-up look more professional. So I go to the plane tab and toggle it in order to turn it on. We can see that the plane has appeared, but the plane is too far below uh, the MacBook. So what we can do is go to the device and align it to the plane. Alternatively, we can move the plane higher up instead of being at negative two. I just moved it to negative um, one, around one. And I'll go back to the device tab and I align it to the plane. We can see that the iMac has moved, shifted up. Um, the plane itself can also be customized to cast different types of shadows. For example, we can increase the blur of the shadow or we can change the opacity to not strike as much. Uh, once you're happy with the shadow, let's go to the device. We can customize the color of it. I will just pick something, um, something pinkish and um, get ready to customize uh, the device animation slightly. In order to animate, we'll go to the timeline, select timeline open up the device where we can change the position and rotation of the device um, in order to make it uh, make it an animation we need to select one of the uh, one of the effects that we want to add for example if we want to simply rotate it we turn on rotation the checkpoint has been added and it was added at zero seconds um, and let's say at around one second somewhere around here we want the device to rotate 360 degrees. So I go to the rotation um, si um, option panel and um, make it 360. As you'd expect between these two points, the iMac rotates 360 degrees. So if we play it, this is exactly what happens. On each checkpoint, you also have the option of easing. For example, 
I will uh, make it elastic in and out instead of a linear uh, easing and um, the corresponding effect is applied. In most cases you just want to stick with linear or quadratic in and out for the best effects. They're very simple to use. And uh, if video mockup is something that you want, you can export it as an uh, MP4 or a WebM, which, um, which is the format that supports transparency. However, at any point in time, when you like the angle, you can export it as an image. And that's how you create um, mockups or animate your mockups. So hopefully this example was very useful and you've learned how to uh, create mockups for IMAX and also how to animate them. Um, I've also added links to the 3D device animations tutorial which you can um, which you can check out in order to fully understand how to create such 3D device animations and previewed. Um, and do let me know if you have any questions that you want me to answer or any other videos to uh, record. Hopefully this was useful and you've learned how to create the iMac mockups and again thank you for watching.